Hey guys, Peyton here with Brandon here at Rogue Fab HQ. Say so we just got back from SEMA and honestly needed to start off a really interesting video because we just had way too much footage and way too much chaos that happened. So yeah, how was SEMA for you? A lot of walking, a lot of chaos. Yeah, most Super, definitely. super, super fun. Alrighty, so aside from all the walking, Brandon, I, we had a bunch of sponsees there. We had a bunch of people that were using our vendors to kind of, whether it was roll cages, front bumpers, or just outright, just There's some chassis craziness, work. chassis Suspension. work when it came to it. What was your favorite car? Hmm, the RX-7 and Gucci Motors booth. Okay, yeah, no, yeah. that's that was a, uh, a strong contender for me as well. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so Guichi Motors, they had their uh, Ghani? V12. V12 swapped RX-7 sitting in the Toyo Tires booth, and that thing was fantastic to look at. Yep. Um, so that was a solid actual uh, build, and I can't wait to actually see it running. Mm-hmm, yeah. They just redid the cage, and uh, put the V12 in it. I think it still has the same rims that it had on it before. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, from 2019, SEMA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. yeah, yeah. But uh, overall, it looked like there's a bunch of little details that they redid when they redid the cage, and all together, a much more solid build. Oh, most definitely, yeah, no, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the cooler cars I saw in the Toyota Tire Booth. And while we were in the Toyota Tire Booth, Attacking the Clock Racing yep. had their Audi there. Um, say that wing, that awesome, like, you know, mm -hmm. downforce, just producing wing, that was held in place with uh, our bender as well. So they just had some tubes in the trunk of it that they were uh, yeah. holding that wing down. What'd you think of that car? That car was a race car, but sure looked like a show car. Um, <laughs> but um, it was 100% built to drive, um, but it was built to show quality standards. So, oh yeah. yeah. Well, and speaking of attacking the clock, they also had their GTR. That was yep. in the Battle of the Builders. And yep. that was- uh, A beautiful car too. Another fantastic looking car. Yeah, no. Well, awesome. Congrats to Attacking the Clock for being out there and Guichi. You guys absolutely killed it in the yep. Toyota Tire booth. Um, Say, so moving right along, there were a couple influencers out there. Obviously, B is for Build and uh, Attacking the Clock and Guichi. But Rob Dom was there. Yes, he was. With his fantastic four rotor. Oh, dude, I was blown away by that car sitting with finished now Yep. In, finished. in the Valvoline booth. That thing looked fantastic. We even got a couple photos, um, say we swung by and he was just a blast to speak with, um, say fantastic car. Like yeah. I don't I don't think there's much else you could really do to just make that car more fun to look at. Been following it for years. It was great to see it finally done. Um, can't wait to see what he's gonna do with it next. Oh yeah, no, yeah. neither can I. And speaking of some unsung heroes, Custom F and Customs was there with their Blazer, Cadillac, just the hodgepodge of chaos, but it looked fantastic. The blue just brought the whole build together. It was a wonderful build. Oh um, yeah. A lot of little details that you wouldn't have seen unless you really looked it over uh, closely. Um, almost everything on that car was hand built. Uh, front grille, suspension, you know, every little piece, you know, wasn't really bought off the shelf. It was all handmade which was really cool to see. Oh yeah, no, and say, I mean, I know what caught my eye was just the amount of lights and then that RFID badge that he had. Yeah. Dude, that was so cool. To unlock so everything. Cool. To unlock and then everything. all the gun just... safes and stuff. <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> to look at, super cool build. And speaking of crazy cool, crazy fast cars, Ryan Martin was there. Mm -hmm. Say he is out there building all kinds of crazy cages for these drag cars. They are beautiful to look at and pretty darn safe. Yeah. So, alrighty, so that was kind of the <laughs> recap. Uh, if we can really compress everyone we met and saw no. and everything we did into like the first six minutes of this video. But we did get a quick top five in the main hall, um, just running around to a couple of the cars that we really kind of just as we walked past, we're like, that's a cool car, let's rank it and you know continue trying to walk over to where we were getting to. Um, so it definitely was a chaotic, a uh, couple of days, but I'm so happy we were able to be out there and, yeah. you know, pound and pavement just like everyone else. So you guys are going to see a quick top five video, and then you're going to see Brandon here uh, say, take a quick interview with Custom F and Customs and that beautiful blazer. Yeah. So let's take a quick look and we'll be right back.
Hey guys, it's Peyton with Rogue Fabrication here in the main hall at SEMA 2022. Today has been an absolute blast and we wanted to go over our top five favorite cars that we've seen here. Alrighty, so coming in at number five is this mid-engine Mustang sitting at the Holly booth. This thing is a beauty. Um, say it absolutely just defies everything a Mustang should be and is beautifully executed. And it'd be something that I'd love to cruise around town with. All right, so number four is Backdraft Racing 7.3 liter Godzilla Cobra. This thing is just fantastic from the bronze rims all the way to just the crazy looking engine underneath the hood. This thing is not only beautiful, but probably a blast to take out to the track. Alrighty, so our top three are actually sitting right behind me inside Toyota Tires Tread Pass. It was really difficult with everything in the main hall to really kind of focus and zero in on a top five, uh, just because there were a lot of cars in there that I really did enjoy. But I digress. We're gonna go take a look at our top three inside Toyota Tires' booth. Let's go. Alrighty, so coming in at number three is this beautiful looking Audi. What really drew me to it is gonna be these beautiful looking rims with the Toyo tires, but it's a mean looking time attack build. And honestly, it just looks good, especially with the color and everything that's been thrown on it to make it probably one of the fastest cars up a hill. Alrighty, so coming in at number three is this beautiful looking Porsche. I have always been a big fan of Porsches myself, but uh, sitting in the Toyo tire booth, this thing could not look any meaner and any sexier than it already does. And the last one, which I can't even really get to right now, is gonna be this beautiful looking carbon fiber Skyline. Obviously a very big crowd favorite here at the Toyo tires booth. This thing looks fantastic and just downright mean. Hi, this is Brandon at Rogue Fabrication at SEMA 2022 with Rick here at uh, Custom F and Customs, and he's going to tell us about his new build. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Rick Wallen with Custom F and Customs. This is the 1972 K5 Patriot. It's sitting on a 2009 Cadillac Escalade chassis and running gear. Full interior from the Escalade. It's got the factory dash, factory AC, factory heated and cooled seats, front and rear, factory ABS, factory stability track, and of course that awesome 6.2 liter Cadillac LS muscle that's powering this thing ripping down the street. And we've got RBP tires, Moto Metal wheels, and a whole bunch of other accessories accessories packed into this truck and I can't wait for you to take a walk around and see all the accessories that we've put on this thing including some wonderful tube bent by none other than Rogue Fabs tubing equipment. So if you guys want the best quality that you can get out of the tubing materials and bends that you can out of the equipment that you have in your shop, make sure you hit up Rogue Fab for all the highest quality tubing benders on the market. Get rid of sweeping your floor with a big piece of tube and bend it vertical baby. Alrighty guys, so there it is. SEMA 2022 finally wrapped up. Um, Thank I, God. <laughs> not, not <laughs> Alrighty, so there it is. SEMA 2022 wrapped up into a nice little bow, except we got barely anything done and had way too many hours on the floor going around and just looking at these beautiful cars and it was a blast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know where you want to see us next. PRI, Fabricator Expo. I mean, any of these crazy events, we'd be happy to come out and see you guys. Keep on bending. <laughs> you got it. <laughs>